Welcome back to my channel. Today's is going to be a tutorial on this eye look here. And today's look is going to be a beautiful, bright, colorful look. Today's look was going to be a Easter inspired look. But you guys, this look came out too dark. So I figured I'd still do it here on my channel. And it is using the Pretty Little Miss Grace Sedona's palette. And if you don't have this palette here, you guys, you have to try to get your hands on here. Because... Look at the beautiful colors that come inside of this palette. I mean, they are so freaking beautiful for the summer. I love colors that are bright like this. I mean, I'm trying to get back into the colorful, bright colored looks that I usually do. I mean, usually I've been going for the neutral looks. I guess it's because of the winter. But you guys, spring and stuff is right around the corner. And it's time to pull out the bright color palette. So, I don't know guys. If you want to see on how you can create this beautiful look using this palette here just keep on watching so here's the eye look that i'm going to recreate for you guys and like i say it's a beautiful colorful look and you guys i was going for a easter look and this came out kind of dark but i figured i'd do this tutorial anyways because i love the way the look came out so for this look i used the pretty little miss grace palette which is from sedona lace and you guys this freaking palette right here so freaking beautiful and I'm going to use the color Fall For Me, which is this white color here. And I'm going to use that color for my um, eyeshadow base. And I already have my um, lid primed with the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Melt just to help these colors pop. I'm going to get the color Pink Princess and I'm going to use this color for my transition shade. I'm trying to um, avoid the browns and stuff, so I'm going to use this pretty pink color for my crease. And blend it downwards and outwards. Okay, once I have that color blended out how I want it, I'm going to get the color purple raindrop. And I'm going to use this color right on top of Pink Princess. And then just blend it in my crease and drag it downwards as well. I apologize for my boyfriend and his loud friend in the other room. Guys, once I have that blended out, I'm going to go in with the color Night and Gale, which is this orangey-ish color. And I'm going to place this color really lightly on top of here. And I'm going to blend it very, very softly. Now I'm going to go in with Twinkle Star, and I'm going to place this color on my lid and I'm gonna pack this color to get it very very pigmented as how I want it because I really want this color to pop on my lid like I said I was trying to go for a Easter look and it came out kind of dark but I still love the way it came out so I figured I still do this look for you I'm trying to get back into my bright looks because I've been doing neutral looks on my channel I mean not everybody likes bright looks like these but I do I'm gonna go in with the color night and gale and I'm gonna place this in the inner corner just to have this pop my eye a little bit I mean it's not a bright pop of color but it's still orangey <laughs> I'm going to go in with the color Leafy and place this on the bottom of my lash line. And I'm going to go kind of crazy with the bottom of my eye. Just because. I think that my eyeball is like the only Easter egg that I'm going to paint because... I don't paint eggs like I used to anymore, like when we're little. Or 
I used to do it as I was, you know, as I was grown, but I don't find it as fun anymore because, like, I do it by myself. And it's really not that fun to do it by myself, so. I'd rather paint my eyeball for you guys and, I don't know, just show you what I can do on camera. The color Frost and place that on the bottom of my lash line as well. I'm gonna get the color Charm and I'm gonna place this color on the bottom of all the other colors just to blend out these colors all together and pretty much guys this is the tutorial on this eye look here all I have to do is add my tie line and mascara and I'm gonna just blend out any harsh edges that I have and I'll be right back here's the final look with all the good stuff on And that's the tutorial on this beautiful look here and like I said I was trying to go for a eastery look but I didn't succeed in that because it came out kind of dark but I don't know guys I love the way this look came out so I figured I'd do this look here on my channel so it is using the Sedona Laces Pretty Little Miss Grace palette and you guys if you don't have this palette right here I would try to get my hands on it if it's still available and you have to check Pretty Little Miss Grace out because she is like my favorite favorite YouTube artist here on YouTube so I don't know guys if you like this um, tutorial on this eye look give me a thumbs up let me know what you think if you want me to do any other Easter looks here on my channel what colors that you want me to do For me I would go out in public like this with this eye I know some of you guys don't like the very dark dramatic -y, colorful looks but me guys I personally love looks like this Did you wear this out in public I mean I know I would and I wouldn't care what anybody thinks if you give me a thumbs up subscribe to me if you haven't already and until next video I'll talk to you soon bye guys